So, you're thinking about installing solar panels on your home. Or maybe you already have solar panels and you're thinking about adding a battery or an electric vehicle charger. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about how solar technology is evolving into whole home electrification and teaching you how you can take advantage of this exciting new trend. The smarter way to go solar. Alright, now in today's video, we're going to be talking about how solar and home solar technology is evolving into whole home electrification. Now, when we talk about whole home electrification, we're really talking about three main things. The first is the elimination of fossil fuels. Now that we have sustainable and renewable energy generation and storage technology, there really isn't a need to use fossil fuels to maintain a modern lifestyle within your home. So what am I talking about here? Uh, particularly, I'm talking about how we heat the home and how we heat our hot water. Uh, if those things can be done with electrical appliances, uh, electrical compressors uh, or electrical heating elements, then we can avoid the use of fossil fuels for these things altogether. Uh, of course, it also means moving towards electric vehicles, where those vehicles can be charged by solar energy that's either directly being brought in from solar panels, uh, or if you had solar panels powering your house during the daytime and you have extra energy stored in a home battery, you could potentially charge your electric vehicle from the battery during evening hours. So you're essentially eliminating all fossil fuels from your home's energy profile. Now, the second main component is having your own solar energy generation and battery storage for the home, meaning that you have the means of harvesting or producing as much electricity as your home is using. And again, that could include uh, your electric vehicle charging as well if you've made that transition. So that means solar panels on your roof. It typically will mean a large, large capacity home battery enough that you could run your home on battery power during evening hours. Uh, and then of course the next day the solar panels take over and they can power the appliances in the house and recharge the battery. Now this is especially important because in many areas like California, Arizona, and Texas, the utility companies are going away from the one-for-one -one net metering program. You see back in the day all you really needed was solar panels to eliminate your electric bill because whatever excess solar power you had available to you during daylight hours you could just sell all that to the power company at full price credit and then pull back in during the evening from the power company as opposed to having to buy your own battery. But now since those programs are going away, we see more homeowners going to, to a true energy independence where you have solar panels for energy harvest and you have enough battery storage for whole house backup. And then the third made component of an electrified home is intelligent loads or intelligent controls. So what does this mean? It means that your home's energy management software system is going to make smart decisions about when certain appliances are allowed to run and when they aren't. So for example, uh, if you have an electric vehicle plugged into your home and you want to charge that electric vehicle, you might program your home solar and storage system to only allow the electric vehicle to charge when there's excess solar available and when the home battery has already reached full charge. In other words, there's extra power. We don't want to dump it to the power company and, and potentially lose money. So we'll just dump whatever extra solar energy we have into the electric vehicle battery. But it also could mean limiting use of high draw non-essential items to avoid peak rates from your utility. So for example, the system might be programmed to not allow the central air conditioning compressor to run during peak rate hours. So many of you watching this in California, Arizona, your peak rate hours are going to be 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's when most people are getting home from work. It's also when your air conditioning is working the hardest because the afternoon sun's been beating on the house all day. So you may have your system set to where it's not going to allow the air conditioning compressor to kick on, or if it does, it lowers the throttle so that you can avoid having to pull extra electricity from the power company during those peak rate hours. Um, same thing would go with water heating elements. If you have an electric water heater, there's no reason that the heating element has to run during those peak rate hours. You could heat the water in your tank during off-peak hours, and as long as the tank is insulated properly, that water should stay warm throughout the course of the day. And so having all of that controlled in an intelligent fashion, and where all those different products or different technologies are communicating. So your solar panels know what your battery's doing. Your batteries know what the loads in your house are doing, and the software that controls all of it is operating on a single platform, controllable by a single app. And that would be a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Qmerit. If you're looking to live a more sustainable lifestyle, lower your energy footprint, and become more energy independent, 
then Cumerit is the home electrification partner for you. Cumerit is our preferred home electrification partner, offering installation of bi-directional EV chargers, smart electrical panels, solar panels, battery storage, generators, and high efficiency heat pumps. Many of our clients start with solar panels or electric vehicles, then progress to whole home electrification. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you wanna work with a qualified and trusted partner, then click the link in the description below so you can learn more about Powerhouse by Cumerit and get in touch with an installer right away. Thank you Cumerit for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now, another technology that makes this whole home electrification work are smart electrical panels. And smart electrical panels are sort of the Cadillac version of intelligent load control, where literally each individual circuit can be monitored and controlled by a software app. Uh, I would say the leader in this space right now is probably SPAN Smart Panel. In fact, we had a chance to see the new SPAN 2024 product lineup at the RE Plus conference in Anaheim. So if you haven't seen that video already, go back and watch the previous video of the SPAN 2024 product lineup, where we show you hands-on how a smart electrical panel works, the different sizes that are available, and how that panel can tie in with your home solar inverter, battery storage, uh, and even your uh, HVAC system as well. So this has been a discussion of how solar is evolving into whole home electrification uh, and how you can take advantage. Uh, of course, if you're looking to have a, an electrified home system installed, Qmerit is our preferred partner in this space. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner out there, if you're looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for a solar system, or maybe you already have a price quote for solar and you just need to get a couple comparison quotes, um, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below here set up a call with an expert, uh, or just use the free online quote tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Well, that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.